Hey guys, Daniel here. Welcome back to the Mordan's Garage. Today I'm going to be doing an oil change on the Blackbird. Now it's a pretty simple job anyone can do with some basic hand tools. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, get the bike up to operating temperature. So I've given it a good run and now we need to take off the side fairings. There's just 5mm allen keys. Just at the top. One here, uh, one down at the bottom there, one at the back and one at the side here. Now there's one bolt going from the front in the nose cone. Uh, my one it's a uh, Phillips but I don't think that is stock. Uh, so down in this corner here. And then there's just little clips. That allows it to come off. And there's just one rubber sorry bit there which goes into this part of the fern and then this side fern pulls off. Right with that off we can uh, just pull this dampening piece off it's just like a sound deadener. Flick that to the side and we get access to our oil filter and our sump bung down here. So that's a 17 mil Right, so I'll slacken off the oil filter and remove the sump bung and we'll let that drain for a wee while. Wow! Dear, oh dear. Ah, no, and it's not, so that's good. Get the oil draining. Look at the state of that crush washer on there. That has been reused many, many times. A genuine Honda oil filter on there, which is a, always what I want to see. Always make sure your O-ring comes off. Generally does when you use uh, genuine parts. Right guys, that's been draining there for a wee while. Now we've got the job to try and get that old bloody washer off this. Um, looks like it's been on there forever. Try a pair of snips. I don't know why people don't just change these. If it's crushed this much, it's not crushing anymore, so all that strain is going onto the, the aluminium threads. It costs like a dollar less than that. You can buy a big pack of them. There's no excuse for not changing them. If you change them every year, they just fall off instead of like having to try and battle it to get it off like this. There we go. So I cut it off in half. Right, you wash it on and we'll put this on bum back in. Alright, I've got my new filter here. I'm just going to get a wee bit of the old oil and just rub it around this seal here. It just helps it come off good next time. All I'm going to do is just screw that on. Basically hand tight. I've got a genuine oil filter here. I only ever really use OEM stuff on any of my vehicles. So just now you nip up with your hand and that's as tight as you can go with that. And if this sump bunk don't go crazy, I'll leave the torque in the description, just three it ratchet and just a wee nip like that. Keep it all the way down. Now like I was saying that was a genuine filter and I, I got it from my local dealership. They charged bloody 50 bucks for that. That's the most expensive oil filter I think I've ever gone. Right, if you come around to the right hand side, this is where you fill it up and this is your dipstick here. So you want the bike on the centre stand as well for checking the oil. And it takes roughly, I think about four litres, so we'll put roughly four litres in there. Now this is the oil I use in all my bikes, just Penrite's 10W40, fully synthetic. Um, it meets the GASO MA spec, which is for motorcycles, for wet clutches. Um, or I use this in the DR, 
And now the Blackbird, and I did use it in my old main streak. And I only buy this when it's on special. I got a six liter tub here for 70 bucks. Which will do one Blackbird change and one DR change. So that's pretty good, I reckon. It's about three and a half liters, so I think we'll start it up at that and then uh, check the dipstick. So I'm going to start it up, just basically run it for maybe 10 15 seconds, probably not even that long, just enough to let the oil light go out, oil pressure build up. That'll do. And now we need to check the oil level. Uh, so for checking the oil level, you have a dipstick on this motorcycle. It's the first time I've ever had a motorcycle with a dipstick. Um, basically, it's just like your car. And you check that uh, in the same way. You don't screw it in, so you screw it all the way out. Then we will just set it in the hole. And check it there. All right, it's still not on the dipstick. Cool, so we top it up. And that is just off the top. Probably can't see it on the cam. Maybe you can. Screw that back in. Put our cap back on, make sure the O-rings are on both of them. If I come back around here, just visually look for any leaks down there. There's nothing obvious. Um, right guys, all I've got to do is just put on the left hand, the left hand fair in there and then that's job done. Uh, I won't show you that, it's just the complete opposite of my strip. Um, just very light nip on those bolts and you are good to go. Um, that's a super simple job, anybody can literally do that at home. Uh, the Blackbird is actually a very easy bike to work on uh, for the home mechanic. Um, Honda recommends changing the engine oil filter every 12,000 kilometres or one year. Um, I would probably do it if it was my, well this is my bike, if, I'd probably do it every 10,000 or one year. Um, I won't be doing 10,000 k's a year on this bike so it will be uh, once a year. I'll do an oil change on it. Right guys, hope you found this video useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and think about subscribing to the channel for more Blackbird content like this. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you all next time. See you later.